On a wet and chilly weekend, Leilani Walker is out at night searching for New Zealand sheepweb spiders. So these spiders are found throughout New Zealand, primarily in native forest. You can find them pretty easily. They build really large, highly three-dimensional webs with a big, thick, horizontal main sheet, which looks a little like a trampoline. Like all spiders, sheepweb spiders have large jaws that are used for handing and eating prey in their webs. Uh, males have jaws that are significantly larger than females of the same species and they'll actually use these to fight with each other to maintain access and control of females webs so they can be sure that they can mate. So in this group I'm interested in how the really large jaws in males, um, how they've evolved, how they differ between these closely related species and what they're used for. Leilani has a cunning method to allow her to measure her previous night's catch without getting a nasty nip. By gently wrapping the spider in cling film, Leilani is able to create a delicate burrito which allows her to then use a pair of hand calipers to measure the spider's jaws and body size without hurting the spider. Back in the forest, we are trying to locate a species that has so far been elusive, but which will form another piece of the puzzle as Leilani gathers measurements, behaviour and genetic data from the approximately 30 species of Cambridgia sheepweb spiders found across New Zealand. Finally, it seems that we may have found the species that Leilani is after. So I'm not quite sure what she is, but um, the abdomen, uh, the patterning on her abdomen is a bit different from the other things we've been seeing. She's a bit smaller. Leilani's research will soon reveal why there is so much diversity in jaw shape and size in the secretive group of nocturnal spiders. That is, if she can catch them.